Villisca Axe Murder House is located at 508 East 2nd Street in Villisca, Iowa. It was originally built in 1868 by George Loomis. In 1903, the property was bought by Villisca businessman Josiah B. Moore. On the evening of June 10, 1912, Josiah, his wife Sarah Montgomery Moore, their four children, 11-year-old Herman, 10-year-old Catherine, 7-year-old Boyd, 5-year-old Paul, along with two neighbor girls visiting for the night, Lena Gertrude Stillinger and her sister Ina May, were all murdered, bludgeoned to death by an axe. Many possible suspects emerged, but the killer or killers were never found, and this gruesome mass murder still remains as Iowa's oldest unsolved mystery. Darwin and Martha Lynn purchased the home in 1994. Using old photographs, Darwin was able to restore the property back to the way it was in 1912. This included the removal of all electrical and plumbing fixtures. In 1998, the house was added to the National Register of Historic Places. PRISM has been investigating the Moore residents since 2004. Along with Dave Christensen, Miller's Paranormal, and BTPR, PRISM was one of the first local teams to be given permission to conduct overnight investigations of the house. We believe it to be one of the most haunted places in the United States. The house is home to not only the residual haunting of the night of the murder, but also to several intelligent spirits. It's also been speculated that other quote-unquote entities may have found their way into the house since its opening to the general public as an overnight rental property. Electronic voice phenomena, or EVP, are anomalous sounds that are found on electronic recordings that are thought to be spirit voices. The voice speech of a typical adult male has a fundamental frequency of 85 to 180 hertz. The fundamental frequency of an adult female is between 165 and 255 hertz. You should also know that most EVP tend to stray out of the hertz range of conventional human speech, and the majority of them contain clicks before, after, or even during the EVP. These are our best EVP recordings of the children recorded at the Villisca Axe Murder House. The recordings date from 2004 to 2013. Absolutely no children were inside or outside the house during any of our prison investigations. What time are we supposed to leave here, anyway? I don't know. Get in here. What? Huh? Get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Hey, sweetie, can you close the door? I can feel the breeze again. It hurts. Would you like to talk to us?
Probably because there's no one like it. Is my crystal in there, Paul? In 2009, the Orbs Paranormal Research Team recorded voices of the children screaming inside the vacant house while the whole team was outside. These must be the same children that Prism has been recording. And if that's true, it's validation that the same spirit voices can be recorded by distinct groups of people using entirely different recording devices. Here are two last examples of the same children recorded by two separate paranormal investigators. Chuck Young from Smoky Mountain Paranormal recorded his EVP while alone in the children's room closet on March 12, 2012. Rachel M. Jones recorded her EVP of a child's voice during an amazing EVP-filled six-minute video taken on a handheld video camera in 2014. This EVP was at the beginning of a video and was filmed in the children's room. I've got an odd feeling like somebody's here. I don't see anything. I just heard something. No, it sounded like a little kid's voice. Thanks for watching from everyone here at PRISM.